Hey everybody, it's your boy Topsy, coming back at you with what I hope will be the last session of Nekopara. It is currently 8.51 a.m. I know, right? Fucking the kids are at school, the wife is at work, nobody's home except for me. I figured might as well get this done. My fucking recording schedule all over the goddamn place. <laughs> last time I did any recording, it was fucking 2 a.m. Anyways, let's just dive right back on in. Sure, don't say that. Uh, what the fuck was I doing? Um, Sugar Rare, the first guest of the morning. Said that with a straight face, like it was obvious, and sipped her tea. Huh, but I've really heard that before. Okay, well, they are these two. Now she mentioned it, I did realize something. I haven't heard, of the, I haven't even seen the Mac like this at home before either. It's fucked up that sentence. No, being female, there wasn't anything Sugar Ray would be able to do about it in that case. But Vanilla told me they'd get sick from being in heat. Alright, Vanilla? You lying bitch. No, you like it. There we go. How to do it. No. <laughs> so it was you. You can't just more importantly your way around this, my no good little sister. Something wrong with you. She doesn't seem to regret anything. Well, I wasn't that angry at her anyway. It seemed as if Shigeru was able to see through a lot of aspects of me. Mainly my shame, embarrassment, resentment in particular. Why do you have to s Never mind. Never mind. Bad. <laughs> Don't be dumb. I should have up my lips and flicked her, for flicked her on the forehead. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Pretty easily, apparently. <laughs> You're not them. Don't say that. Let me make it sound like we've kissed before. She gripped put her hands on her hips and puffed out her cheeks. It was really hard to get her jokes. Sometimes, as her older, as her older brother, I wonder if it's really safe for her to be outside on her own. Even more so because she's a heck of a cute little sister. The fuck? A, a bit, sure. I've seen what they cut out. It was more than a bit. The two, <coughs> the two cat girls comb each other's hair, still half asleep. She gazed at them as if they were her own lovely children. Well, I can't dispute that. Well, in its own way. <laughs> she giggled as if she could see exactly how I truly felt. I did have a bit of an uncalled for pride, just because I was little. Wait, I did have a bit of uncalled for pride, just because I was a little older than her. 
しぐれが体を張るところでした妹である前に私も女ですから No, 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 She grimaced and scowled at me. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Thanks. Take this and that, too. Oh, really? No, you don't, don't, you don't purr. She fixed her hair by putting it down. Yep, she, wait, she, yep. She was the same old little, cute little sister. Well, no fucking shit. You have five other cat girls. With slightly lower tone in her voice. She smiled at a somewhat sad and troubled smile. What? I've caused a lot of problems for you in the past. When I wasn't able to get along with Dad. When I practiced my baking in secret. When I left without saying anything. Even after she had realized, she pretended she didn't. She even secretly helped box up chocolate and vanilla, too. It's hard to imagine that Sugar Ray is my little sister, given how bright she is. I'll take good care of chocolate and vanilla, so don't need to worry. Come over whenever you want. I rested my head on Shaggy Wraith's cheek, filling it with my feelings of appreciation. Shaggy responded with a, sm with a soft smile and by leaning her cheek against my hand. I could feel the softness and affection of my small little sister passing through the palm of my hand as warmth. Uh, let's steer clear from that direction, please. Ah, Roger that. Sorry, Shigure. I need to go do a little bit of preparation to open the store. Yep, you can just take it easy. Talking about. After being sure everyone had gone down to the bakery to work, she grits on the living room sofa and muttered to herself. No, no, no. Stop being weird. Those cat girls who were once just little babies are already. Knowing that she had done it to herself, she couldn't help but let out a ruck laugh. Maybe, maybe. That would be for the best. I left her out yearning heart for the impossible. I left to confess to the person she loved, who was just nearby. She whispered it out once more. At least, instead of me, I can trust my feelings to those cat girls instead of the girl I don't know. I'm okay with always staying by his side as his little sister. 
breathing deeply to calm her prickly and pained heart. She closed her eyes and leaned back on the sofa. Oh, please don't get weird. She looked up off the sofa, giving both her cheeks a quick slap and looked out the window. She's being weird. Being really weird. Uh, we go to the, the music park. Yeah, I guess. Really? I guess it must be. No, it's not that. Um, it's not that I'm being cold, okay? We were near the peak of Hyakejima. Oh, Hyakejima. Sea Paradise is the main attraction. Blue falling. All around us was sky. Sky and more sky. The safety and security of Earth was far, far away. Dare to experience the nation's highest freefall at 107 meters, they say. And when they do, they're not kidding. Forcing down the ride because of their whining. I was now facing the most extreme threat to my life ever. Oh, you two look cute. Actually, how can you two be so calm? Because they're fucking cats. <laughs> See, I told you. <clears throat> Isn't this just because you cast like high places? Well, if you knew that, then why'd you ask? I wasn't even able to say only fools and smoke like high places. I could only shiver as I over. Uh, I could only shiver as I was overtaken by more fear than the higher we climbed. Then that miraculous, oh, that merciless sound coming from the motor that seemed to go on forever suddenly stopped. Three, two, one. Oh, I would fucking die. <laughs> bye bye. I would die before we hit the ground. Yeah. 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 Oh Jesus. I don't have time for all this. They're trying to kill me. That oh, it's a carousel. Okay. When the fuck did cowboys yodel? <laughs> this is how it's fun in an average way. I don't say that, but it sounds wrong. No, it's just, it's a bit embarrassing, being this old and this. Yeah! 
<laughs> what was that left bit? I'm going to assume they're like a haunted house or something like that. It's just a ride. Calm down. It won't kill you. <laughs> Vanilla just lost all the emotion in her voice. Hold on, there's an emergency exit over there. Hold on until then. Oops. What was that irk just now? Don't give up. Hey, Vanilla. To normal. Oh fuck no! <laughs> Wait, let me rest. Really, seriously. Lighted. I sat on that bench feeling groggy. To think amusement parks could pack this much punch. No, don't say that. I know, I get it. Just give me a second. Trying to get comfortable, hang on. How kind. Where'd you get them? Nilla wasn't pleased with having her cheek poked. Well, that's just what she's saying. Her tail was sticking straight up all the time at home, though. According to what Chocolate said, she had to be really careful not to do that while we were out today. Otherwise, her tail would lift up the back of her skirt. And that's not the sort of thing we humans would ever have to worry about, though. Those clothes look good on both of you. <laughs> oh, okay, her, okay. <clears throat> Just a little bit. She spun around and showed me her back. The white clothes sparkled in the sunshine. It was very cute and seeing them all dressed up made the day even more special. Not that Vanilla would ever admit she felt that way. Yeah, they really look good on you two. I said it one more time. Just be honest, goddammit! The two fluttered about as they teased each other. Seeing how happy Chocolate and Vanilla were made me glad I took the day off, even if it was inconvenient. We didn't have one day off, Jesus. Oh, it's part of life. That's right. I've been a bit tired lately, so I've come here for a bit of fun. You two don't need to worry about anything. Just go be cat girls and enjoy yourselves. The two of them looked into my eyes worriedly, so I messed with their hair.